the workshop telethon begins with a trip that took Guy a world away from his native Grimsby. I'm excited, boys. I'm excited. I see how there she goes. Yeah, this is the very first travel programme we did. Six years ago. Oh, look at that. Smoke out the drains. Oh, you've made a job of that. That looks very moody. I still wear that shirt. I still got that jacket. The Royal Enfield in my sister's pub. Guy toured working class India for two weeks on a Royal Enfield motorcycle. Look at that, it just brings back some memories, that boys. Sadly, the most vivid memory concerns food poisoning. I was looking a bit second hand there, boys. I know, a couple of three days in, by Jesus, wept. Had some trips to the pan, boy. Hey. <laughs> That's not put on. I genuinely look like a sack of tits, don't I? <laughs> My backside's had a bit of bother. But you don't need to know the details of that, really, do you? Do you really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was just wet. I was hosing out my backside, boy. Hey, you didn't have a day off, did I? I kept my head down and kept on with it, boy. By hell, I felt rough. India seems to work 24 hours a day. Even in the middle of the night, Old Delhi is home to the country's busiest markets. Chemistry shops next to a cement shop. Look at it, look how much is there. What? You've never seen so many bags of cement in your life. Come on. If we're going to go to a travel programme, we're not really for going to see the um, Dalai Lama, the Taj Mahal. Go on, who else would you go see? Oh, the Ganges, yeah. Is it, a th is it a th like a third of the world's population lives on the side of the Ganges or something like that? That's not really what we do, is it? Not my sort of cup of tea. And, and you know what? What do I do? I fix trucks. Um, and what we're going to do, let's go see um, truck fitting Indian style, and that's what we did. Hey! This was what I was looking forward to more, just to come and see how the other half do it. The Nagar truck yard covers the area of 40 football pitches and sees 20,000 trucks pull in per day, carrying everything from flowers to computer parts. Anything can be fixed here. Asia's biggest truck yard, busy motorway going north out of Delhi, and then a hill, but not an hill as we know it, that's vanilla rubbish, human waste. Human waste. Look at the blokes at the top. And Mildred, the cow. The cow. I've lost for words. The industry was familiar to Guy, but the conditions were not. Look behind you. Look behind you. Don't scare them off. Look behind you. Four bloody pigs. Five pigs. There's five pigs. <laughs> pigs covered in oil. Brand new Leylands that you'd just think was made in the 60s. Bodybuilders building bodies for lorries, welding without goggles. Here, they're not bothered. Get cracking. These lads are into it. Yeah, these lads are into it. Old announce. Indian way of showing friendship, that. You don't see that in Green's people. Fascinating. Let's go have a look around. Go on, mate, you all right? You're all right, mate. You're all right, mate. Shanti Devi is the yard's tyre fitter. Shanti Devi, I remember her. They're not light. They aren't light. She's not messing about. Do you want love? Do you want Yeah? Yeah? OK. OK. Well, I'm just thinking this last knows what she wants. I'm, I'm just... Here, she's using a split rim. OK. That's what she's doing. It's a fitting that only requires basic tools, but it's considered old-fashioned in the UK. It's illegal in the UK. It's not just old-fashioned in the UK, but it's illegal. The next stage is to blow it up. Then if it was ever going to go wrong, it's what happens now. That ring jumps out and kills, boy. I mean, there's 125 PSI in those tyres. OK. All right, mate. She used to have a tea shop. 
And I can't remember what she earned. She earned like bloody, let's get the numbers. It was like 12 quid a week or something she used to earn. And anyway, she went from that, she's 60 year old. She went from that to tyre fitting and earned 600 quid a week. It was something like that, massive, like something, some massive numbers. And that's what she did. And um, we just went to have a bit of a natter with her. Look at these hands, I want see these hands. Hard work, hard work, yeah. Grafter. <laughs> yeah, there's a few calluses, mate. <laughs> That's mega. And you're going to keep working. You keep working. No, reti no retiring. Hey, lass. <laughs> hey, well, thanks very much for stopping and talking to us. We stopped you working a bit. But it's just been mega. It's been mega. What a lass. And the whole time we've been there, I've been getting air put into it, and the ring's not jumped out. So no one's dead. You can just see in her eyes, what a lovely woman. Lovely, friendly woman. What a lovely woman. Yeah. Good memories, that boy. Six bloody years ago. Yeah, but I don't know if uh, HSE would be over impressed with how that vial's laid on there, boy. Where are you going? What a place to go and do your first travel program. All right, mate. What a place.